Kevin laughed and told her not to worry. He also said that he was sorry that she didn't like her gift, and that he would get her anything she wanted if she promised to get better. The same day as his mother's stroke, Kevin, without explanation, lost the lease for his store. As before, he didn't make a connection between the wine cabinet and his bad luck. Kevin gave the cabinet to his sister next, but she only kept it for a week before she returned it. The reason? The cabinet doors wouldn't stay closed and kept opening up on their own. There is no mechanism that causes both of the doors to open on their own. The cabinet then went to Kevin's brother and his wife. They only kept it for three days because of strange odors they said emitted from the wine cabinet. His sister-in-law said she smelled cat urine, but his brother smelled jasmine flowers. The cabinet then went to Kevin's girlfriend, but after two days she asked him to sell it for her. He sold the wine cabinet that same day to a nice couple. But three days later, he found the cabinet outside his house with a note that said, This has a bad darkness. This is when he decided to just take the cabinet home. That night, Kevin had a nightmare. In this nightmare, he was walking with a friend, when at some point, he stares at his friend's eyes and realizes this isn't his friend, but something evil that looks like his friend. After having this realization, his friend would change into what Kevin described as the most gruesome, demonic-looking hag he has ever seen. The hag then would proceed to severely beat him. Kevin would have this nightmare again and again, with different friends and loved ones in the nightmare. Numerous times he would wake up with bruises and marks where the hag had beaten him. After all these strange incidents, Kevin still didn't think the wine cabinet was the cause. Until one day his sister, his brother, and his sister-in-law spent the night at his house. The next morning over breakfast, Kevin's sister said she had a disturbing nightmare the night before. She then described exactly the same nightmare Kevin had been having. Kevin's brother and sister-in-law said that they had the same nightmare, too. The family continued their discussion and discovered that each of them had the hag nightmare whenever they had the cabinet in their home. Curious, Kevin called his girlfriend and asked if she had any nightmares lately. She said yes and described the same hag nightmare. He then asked if she recalled the dates she had the nightmares. She couldn't. He then asked if she had the nightmare the night before she had asked him to sell the cabinet. She responded, yeah, how did you know that? After Kevin had talked to his family, things got considerably worse at his home. For a week after, he would see shadow beings out of the corner of his eye. Several people had also seen these shadow beings too. Kind of freaked out, Kevin put the wine cabinet outside in his storage unit. That night, Kevin was abruptly awoken by the sound of the fire alarm in his storage unit. He rushed his storage unit and found nothing was on fire, but he did notice a very pungent smell of cat urine. He then returned to his house only to find the smell of cat urine there too. Kevin says he has never owned a cat, so the smell of cat urine was strange. He went back to his storage unit and brought the wine cabinet back to his house. He then sat down at his computer and started to research the cabinet on the internet. While researching, Kevin fell asleep and had the same hag nightmare yet again. Kevin woke up at 4.30 in the morning to the feeling and the smell of someone breathing on the back of his neck. He quickly sat up and looked behind him, just in enough time to see a huge shadow being running down the hall. After that terrifying sight, Kevin noticed that his house no longer smelled of cat urine, but smelled like jasmine flowers. This was the last straw for Kevin, so he thought about destroying the cabinet, but was too scared that the spirit would be released and would stay with him. So instead, he listed it on eBay as a haunted wine cabinet in 2003. 
He included this story in the listing and an update on June 12, 2003, just answering questions people had asked him in numerous emails. There was a second update on June 14, 2003. Kevin wrote that he will not sell the wine cabinet outside of eBay, even if it's for more money than the final auction price. He also included, for those of you wanting to know if I'm still experiencing anything out of the ordinary, I thought everything was going okay until I got home on Friday the 13th of June and found that the fish in my fresh water aquarium, all ten, were dead. I'm still hoping that all of this is coincidental stuff. Do not forget to leave a like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. And if you already have, thank you very much. La, la.